GA, thanks for joining me. It's been announced that you're, uh, you're going to be stepping down from your full-time roles here, here at Barnet at the end of March. Can you tell us a bit, little bit about that, please? Yeah, Howard, I'm, I'm getting a little bit older now and uh, it's fairly common knowledge that I've not been well recently and uh, the doctors have advised me that I need to have some treatment and uh, I've got to take their advice and uh, that will mean me stepping down from a day-to-day -day role here for, with immediate effect really, but uh, seeing it through until the end of March and helping the club find a successor. So, so you're going to be here for, from, from March until the end of the season in a slightly different role. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, it, it, the plan is that um, I carry on working now and uh, as much as I can and the search for my successor is on and I'm uh, heavily involved in that and making sure that the person we bring in carries on the work that we're doing currently. You, you arrived at a, a Barnet, um, you've obviously had a, a few spells here, but your most recent one, um, you, you arrived about a, a year ago. Yeah. What, what, what do you feel like you've, you've achieved in, in this time so far? It's been a really difficult year, what with the global pandemic making it really difficult for football clubs to operate uh, going through a, a number of managers since I've been here in that short space of time as well. I, I tried to in, install a little bit of stability in terms of putting a structure in place and making sure that what we deliver to the players makes them better players and uh, yeah, that was never going to be a short term fix but I, I genuinely believe that the foundations have been laid for that and yeah, with the staff we've brought in subsequently, the backroom staff, the, the medical staff, the science staff now, we've got some very strong people in those roles and hopefully pe people will see that, that their, their work will come to fruition very shortly. As you've touched on there, how, how do you see the the, uh, the performance side of things going at the club over, over the sort of next coming uh, months and, and even years, really? Yeah, we want to continue the work that the foundations have laid. That's not just working with the first team, that's working with the academy structure, the young players coming through. So there's a pathway for players to move from the academy through into into the first team. And w what we've installed there is we've, we've brought in an excellent physio in Daniel, you know, um, who is really excellent in the work that he's doing. He's bedding in a real strong medical team to, to support the players. Scientifically, we're now recording every single session, and that's something that wasn't happening before, but it is now, and that needs to continue. In a few months' time, when, when you finally leave the, the club, how, how do you feel like you're gonna, uh, you're gonna reflect back on your, on your uh, most recent spell here? Well, I, I just wanna make sure there's a legacy there. A lot of the work that we do is often unseen because the, the most important thing for everything is the result. And recently we've, sh we've shown glimpses of that coming through, but it, it's not consistent enough. And what I'm hoping is that once uh, the, yeah, I've gone here, we, we, that work continues and the consistency returns. What, what will you be looking for in, in terms of your, excess, your, your successor and uh, how are those plans going so far? Um, we've got a number of people in mind and we're also going to go out for, a, for a, an advert for interview. We're, what we're looking for is a strong person with a strong performance background, not necessarily from football but from another sport as well, that can bring in the, all the fundamentals that we need to ensure that these players are looked after appropriately. They've obviously got big boots to fill and, and I'd just like to thank, thank you all on behalf of Barnet uh, for, for your services to the club. Uh, thank you. The club means a lot to me. Back in the, when I first started here in 1995 when Ray Clements was manager, I had a number of very good years here and, and a lot of success in those times and I, I just hope that returns for the club.